Okay, take a three. Sennheiser headphones. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Working Class Music. I'm one of your hosts, Jason. And on this week's episode, we'll be checking out the Sennheiser HD 490 Pro Plus. It sounds like a iPhone configuration, if you will, or an iPhone Pro Plus Max, whatever. But that aside, gotta take a second and let you know, this video is brought to you by our friends at Sennheiser. They sponsored this video by way of sending these headphones out to us for us to try. So, what's the deal with the Sennheiser HD 490 Pro and its upgraded sibling, the HD 490 Pro Plus? That's not gonna get old. Admittedly, as far as the headphones go, there is no discernible difference. There is no audio difference. One isn't going to have a higher frequency response over the other. However, the Plus version comes with a couple extra things. So before we go on, let's unbox this first so we can talk about the differences between the mixing pads and the producer pads. Both deliver really good sound, but there are a couple different nuances that we should probably talk about. There's no ASMR moment to be had with this unboxing. A handy carrying case. We'll put this. These are nice. These are super nice. These are super, super duper nice. The case is super sturdy. And then you have the pads. Uh, now let's give you the ASMR moment. Uh. All right, that's the ASMR moment from the unboxing. You have the manual and a license for the Dare VR mix plugin. You do have a generous three meter cable. I got it unboxed and now I'm about to show you everything that comes in it. Mm -hmm. Has an explainer of how to hook it up. So this is what comes in the box. You have the extra cable, which is uh, the three meter cable. It comes with a quarter inch adapter. You have an extra headphone pad that goes on the top of the headphone, so when that one wears out, you can do that. You obviously have the case, and then you have the pads. These are going to be the mixing pad, and then these are gonna be the producing pads. Yeah, so they, they come off like such. And then you can place the other ones on. You line them up. A snap right on. So yeah, those are pads. Oh, that's pretty cool. Again, it does come with the instructions on how to do this so you don't screw it up. But it's super easy so you can't. What you may be wondering is, what are the differences between both pads? So let's talk about the differences between the two pads in my opinion on what they offer and some of the slight differences. The mixing pads offer a linear response with a slight peak around the two kilohertz range, while the producing pads have a warmer tilt and a bit more treble. I preferred the producing pad. Comfort wise, both of these are top notch, especially if you are using them for extended sessions. And if you're recording like me all freaking day and you don't want your roommates to hear you, but you want headphones that are comfortable, they do that. Also, one thing that I should note, these headphones were designed with people who wear glasses in mind. So that's pretty cool because I wear glasses. Obviously, I think almost everybody here, no, no, uh, Nelson and Xander are the... I do, I just, I oh. don't need them as bad as everybody else. Oh, yeah, touche. I'll wear them when I drive at night. Mm -hmm. 
So, in terms of sound, I found the mixing pads to be a bit more neutral and true to the recording. And again, I found the producing pads lean more towards the warmer sound, if you will. Very, very musical. Let's talk about the icing on the cake. I, I could go for some cake. This is why I'm on a diet. But the icing on the cake in this situation is the Dare VR Mix plugin. This is a nifty little tool that transforms your headphones into the ultimate mixing environment, offering virtual reference rooms and speaker positions to ensure your mix translates accurately across different systems. For example, you can reference how it sounds in your car without even going to your car. So that's pretty cool. You could do the same thing for a home theater system. Hell, if you own an auditorium or a stage Stadium. They got you covered. I don't, so this is pretty nifty. My favorite feature about this plugin is the ability to customize the virtual mix room with the ambience and focus parameters, allowing you to tailor the experience to your liking. So if you want a bit more focus on your recording, you can do that. If you want a bit more space, you can reference that as well. We're going to shift over to Future Jason to give you a screen recording slash demonstration of this plugin in use. So let's throw it to future Jason. Now I would suggest wearing headphones to best experience the demonstration of this plugin, but since you're probably watching this on the toilet on your phone, you'll be fine. Anyway, here's what this sounds like without the plugin. Let's activate the plugin in Mix Room A. Now we're going to change the control room to see what it sounds like if you were in your car. Try another control room, the home theater. And last but not least, in the stadium control room. And we're back from future Jason. I hope he lives a good life in the other timeline. Hope everything works out for you, pal. Okay, so here are my thoughts after a bit of time using these and actually recorded a couple of demos with these. And that experience went super well. Again, I found the producing pads to be my choice in terms of comfort. One of the things that happens to me is I get air fatigue very easily. So I have to pick a really comfortable set of headphones and in the past, there were other products that I liked, but at the same time, there were a bit of sacrifices that had to be made. With these headphones, I get the best of both worlds. Whatever pads I'm feeling, I can use. So for the creative, you know, the producing pads are really good. Um, in terms of mixing, oh my God, they helped. Combining the mixing pad with the Dare VR Mix plugin is kind of a like godsend. It truly translates well to what you're doing. Having not to go out in my car to check this damn mix and then go back and forth a thousand different times. So awesome. So, so awesome. And here's the thing too. I'm gonna, gonna throw this little curveball at you. I don't know if Sennheiser intended, but you know what these headphones are really good for? Gaming. 
I actually tried these with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, 70 hours into that, and I still haven't beat the damn game. But that aside, they're really, really good. Um, super immersive. Now keep in mind, you know, whatever sound system or TV you're using, you'd have to accommodate for that. But they sound really great. And for me, these have kind of been my go-to recently. All right, so who would you recommend these to? So I would say if you are a gamer, go with the HD 490s. You may not use the plug-in and that's fine. However, if you're a gamer on the go, that carrying case comes in clutch. So you might want to consider the Pro Plus. Now, if you're making music, if you're looking to upgrade your studio headphones and you are using them in a recording environment and you plan on mixing and you want on the go mixing and you want something that's comfortable and convenient, Pro Plus all day, every day. Like with the plugin itself, which I think the plugin normally by itself retails for like a hundred. So that's a godsend. You're getting that plugin free. It definitely helps if you're mixing on the go and you're unable to use your studio monitors. So yeah, I think that's where the Pro Plus comes in clutch. And again, the carrying case is nice. The extra cable is nice. You know, it's a win-win. I think if you are an audiophile or a high quality audio enthusiast, these headphones offer a lot of value. Uh, the changeable cuffs definitely will give you a preference um, that you can decide on what you like. And again, with it having a close to flat response, you are gonna get a true to life sound on this. So let's talk about the prices. The HD 490 Pro is $399 and the Pro Plus is $499. For the extra hundred, you are getting a lot of value for your money. I can understand if you're not someone that's an audiophile, this might not be for you. However, for on the go mixing, on the go gaming, this is a godsend like I think these are some of the best headphones you can get for that money. So both are good, but I would tell you spend the extra hundred, get the HD 490 Pro Plus. So it's kind of like the iPhone, you just get the bigger one. So yeah, those are my thoughts. This has been a blast and it actually inspired a new demo that I'm really stoked about. So yeah, down below in the comments, let me know what headphones you're using. Let me, let me know what headphones you prefer. And if this is a thing that you would like to see more of, let us know. We, we try to cater to everybody. Thanks again to Sennheiser for sending this out. Like, subscribe, comment. We've got merch. You know, got cool little hats here. Laters. Again, it does come with the <laughs> It's comedy hour here.